Okay, welcome to Maths Mash. And in this tutorial, we're going to look at uh, finding 10 more than a given number. This is uh, part of a two part series. Uh, there is another video uh, which looks at finding 10 less than a given number, but this one is looking at finding 10 more. Okay, and you can see that we've got our uh, vocabulary here. We've got more, which is uh, the same thing as add less which means almost the same thing as subtract count on again almost the same thing as adding count back almost the same thing as subtraction and then add take away ones tens hundreds and crossing the hundreds boundary all right you can also see that we have our place value grid here with thousands hundreds tens and ones in this video, we're going to be mainly looking at the ones column, the tens column, and a little bit at the hundreds column. You can also see that I've written some questions ahead of time. And you can see that we are going to be looking at two and three digit numbers. Now, as I said earlier, we're only going to be looking at uh, 10 more than a given number. And we're also going to be looking at crossing the hundreds bound. So, to begin with, I've created the number 17 here using these counters. The green counters represent 1, the red counters are 10, the blue counters are sets of 100, and the black counters are sets of 1000, but we won't be using those in this video. So I've created the number 17 using these counters, and you can see the number 17 is made up of a set of 10 and 7 ones. You'll also work out as we go through here that every time you add or take away a set of 10, nothing happens to the ones column. Whatever digit is in the ones column, it will remain in the answer. Okay? So it doesn't matter whether you're adding 10 or 20 or 30 or 40 or subtracting 50 or 70, whatever is in the ones column will stay in the ones column. All right, so let's get started. We have 17 and we want to find out what is 10 more than 17. Well, to do that, all I need to do is simply move one of these tens counters over to the tens column. Now you can see I haven't done anything to the ones column. So that means the digit in the ones column is going to remain seven. All right. But you can see that now we've got two sets of 10, and two sets of 10 you should know by now are 20. Okay, so 10 more than 17 is 27. Okay, so now we're looking at the number 29, and I have created the number 29 in the place value grid. I have nine ones, and I have two sets of 10. So this is what 29 looks like using counters, and I want to find out what is 10 more. Well, as we did with 17, I just bring 10 more over. Okay. Okay, so now you can see that I've got nine ones. I haven't done anything to the ones column. The only thing I've done anything with is the tens column here, and I've added another set of 10. So I can write my units uh, digit because that hasn't changed. And now the only thing I need to check is the tens column. So there's 10, 20, 30. Three sets of 10 make 30. So that is our answer. So 29 plus 10 is 39, or 10 more than 29 is 39. All right, let's look at the next one. 49 plus 10 and see what we get. Okay, so you can see that I have created the number 49. Here's our question that we're working on. I have four sets of 10 and nine ones. Okay, so that's 49. And as I said before, we're going to count on 10, or we want to find out what is 10 more than 49. Well, what we have to do is we have to bring one of our tens counters over, and we just count them up. Now you can see, as I said before, the ones column hasn't been changed at all. So the ones digit stays the same. It's going to be a nine. Okay. And we see that we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Five sets of 10 makes 50. Okay. So our answer is 59. 
So whatever, what is 10 more than 49? It's 59. Okay, so 49 plus 10 makes 59. Now let's move on to some three-digit numbers, and uh, we'll see what happens with those. Okay, the first of our three-digit numbers is 135, and what is 10 more than that? What is 10 more than 135, or 135 plus 10? Well, just as we did with these questions here, we just need to slide a set of 10 over, and that will uh, help us work out what our answer is. So we've we've uh, brought over a set of 10, so we have uh, a new a, a new total here. So now we just add them up. Well, we know that the five in the ones column hasn't changed. The ones column is the same. So again. We just write what's in the ones column. The only column that's changed in this particular case is the tens column. So what do we have there? Well, we have 10, 20, 30, 40. So four sets of 10 is 40. Okay. And we have 100. <clears throat> so you can see in this particular question, it's not always going to be the same. But in this particular question, the ones column hasn't changed and the hundreds column hasn't changed. But that's not always going to be the case, as we'll see later on here. Okay, let's move on to 167 plus 10. Okay, with this question, you can see that I've got 167, 100, 60, and 7 seven ones, six sets of ten, and one set of a hundred. And I want to want I want to find out what is ten more than one hundred and sixty seven. Well, as we've done so many times before, we just drag over another set of ten, and then we just count up the counters in the different columns. And again, the ones column hasn't changed, so that's going to stay as a seven. All right. The tens column, as we said before, has changed, so we need to count that up. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So 7 sets of 10 is 70. And again, the ones, uh, sorry, the hundreds column is unchanged, so that stays as 177. All right, so in this uh, question, we have 291 plus 10. Or what is 10 more than 291? Now, in this particular question, we're going to be crossing the hundreds boundary. That means we're going to be going from two hundreds into the three hundreds. And this is where we are going to do some uh, uh, movement between the tens and the hundreds columns here. Okay, so we have 291, all right, and we have to add 10. So we're going to bring over our tens counter here and you can see then that we now have 10 sets of 10. Well you need to remember that 10 sets of 10, 10 sets of 10 always equals 100. Okay so what I could do is I can change these Okay, I can exchange these 10 counters for one of these blue counters over here because these all add up to 100. Okay, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So I'm going to move these counters back over here and swap them or exchange them for one of the 100 counters. All right. So I've taken all the tens counters from the tens column and I've brought them back over here. And now I'm going to take one of these hundreds counters and bring it over into the hundreds column. All right. So now we need to have a look at what we've done. Well, as I said many times before, we're adding ten. So the ones column hasn't changed. So we still have a one in the ones column. All right. But now we have no counters in the tens column. All right. It is important to remember that you must write zero. All right. When there are no counters, when there are no 
sets of 10, you need to write zero in there because that is a placeholder. And your teacher can explain more about placeholders uh, if you ask them. Now we have three sets of 100, 100, 200, 300. So that means our answer is going to be 301. So 291 plus 10 is going to be 301. Or another way of saying it, what is 10 more than 291? 301. I'd like you to try 493 on your own and see what answer you come up with. So pause the video, try this question, and see if you come up with the same answer as I do. Okay? So pause the video now and give it a try. Okay, I asked you to do 493 plus 10, or what is 10 more than 493, and if you remember earlier, I said that this will be crossing the hundreds boundary, so you're going to be going from the 400s into the 500s. So I've created 493 here, all right, and we're just going to add another set of 10. Okay, so we bring our set of 10 over here, and now you can see that we've got a set of 100, because we have 10 sets of 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Well, I can take these tens counters, put them back over in our tray here, and I can swap them for one of these 100s counters. So that's what I'm going to do. So I have moved all the uh, tens counters over back into our tray here, and I'm going to swap them with one of these 100s counters over here. And now you can see what our answer is going to be. Again, the ones column hasn't changed, so we keep that as 3. And we don't have any tens counters in our tens column, so we have to leave the place value, or sorry, we have to leave the placeholder as 0. And now we count up the sets of 100. We got 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. So there you go, we are at 500. And three. If that's the answer you came up with, well done. And thanks for watching. I hope you found it helpful.